Hi and welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench and here we have uh, another Steyr Org variant this time it's the light machine gun version now the light machine gun version you'd think uses a similar uh, upper receiver but the upper receivers are normally marked LMG uh, and they are subtly different quite what the difference is I don't know because I've never compared a standard rifle against uh, the LMG version but it does have a heavy weight barrel with uh, integrated bipod and uh, quite a uh, complex flash hider. Uh, the optics are the same. I suspect that this is a, a rifle upper receiver and not the LMG version. All the LMG versions I've seen have a, a flat top rail. Well, not a rail, but like a Stanag mount, um, which you then would put a rail on or something like a Henseled scope. Um, so this may not be a, the a correct upper receiver. Um, the uh, buttstock, again, the ones I've seen are dedicated and are marked LMG. Um, this one doesn't appear to be. Or does it? No. But that might just be an early version. Okay, let's see what the differences are. First of all, we have to lock it. And lock it to the rear. Dismount the barrel. As you can see, it is a rather long assembly. We'll put that down. Let the action forward. Don't fire the action because to strip it, you need to have the trigger pack um, in the cock position. Then, dismount the rear butt plate. This can be stiff. off, trigger pack pulled out, okay, yeah this is a, um, a rifle or carbine uh, upper, it's not a dedicated LMG upper because it's not a, it doesn't fire from an open bolt, all the LMGs fire from an open bolt, so this just has an LMG barrel on it. But it looks ostensibly the same. Again, to strip, push in on the dismounting point, pull the uh, upper receiver and bolt carrier out from the stock. The uh, ejection board cover is missing off this, so I don't know which side it's set up to eject for. Let's have a look at the barrel, let's have the bolt, take the bolt and carry it out. Okay, this is set for uh, right hand eject because the ejector is on the uh, left hand and the extractor is on the right. So this isn't a dedicated LMG upper because they are marked as such. Uh, I have uh, some footage of an LMG upper which we'll show you. Uh, and I think I have a, um, uh, some footage of a closed bolt trigger pack. So interesting variant. The only difference on this one was it was a, a, an LMG uh, barrel unit. Okay, let's put it back together. First of all, bolt carrier and bolt slipped into the receiver. Put that into the body of the rifle. Trigger pack. Hook in the butt plate at the bottom. It's quite well used, so let's give it a little thump. And this thing swivel, which locks the butt plate. Cock and lock it open. Take the barrel. Slide and lock it in. And if this was the LMG version, if I release the bolt, it would stay to the rear. It doesn't. So you could really use this as a, a DMR, designated marksmanship rifle. It's got a nice long barrel. It has the standard uh, 1.5 power optics on it. Um, looks like it probably is a standard rifle or carbine. Yeah, it's got the two-stage uh, trigger. So it will fire fully automatically, but from a closed bolt. 
a nice example of what looks to be an LMG, but in reality isn't. It's a standard uh, OG rifle cum carbine chassis with an LMG barrel on it. Interesting variant. Perhaps we'll bring you the correct open bolt or three shot burst versions to you at some time in the, in the near future. My name's Vic. This is the Armourer's Bench. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye now.